I've got some examples from Anch's side, um, some benchmark cases, right? So I've got this, um, you know, sub structure, which uh, consisted about, you know, 2000 parts is about 75,000 elements uh, in, in total. And the minimum quality, you, you can see the minimum element quality of 0.2 and it connected and meshed in about 30 seconds. Um, so if you have a relatively, you know, large model and if you spend some time cleaning it up, um, it's pretty easy, um, easy, fast and efficient to mesh it using batch connections. Um, so moving on, um, again, another, not, another benchmark model. Uh, so we've got a huge spar, we've got some beams and uh, shells as well. Um, so this model, again, it's, it's a lot bigger. It's about 420K, right? This took about a minute and a half, right? So if you remember, we, we spent about a minute, a minute and a half uh, just sharing topology in the barge model. So to get it meshed, um, mesh the whole model without sharing topology, uh, with a, you know, within within a minute and a half is is pretty impressive, right? So some some performance benchmarks again. This this is from test from Ansys, and I validated. Uh, I I think I validated the first case. Um, so as you can see, the manual effort to clean up a few things, a combination of shells, um, shells plus beams, number of parts. Um, these are all from real life models. Um, so as you can see, the manual effort is about uh, you know thirty minutes to an hour. Right, whereas batch connections uh, take care uh, within within a few minutes. Um, right, that's about six minutes, a few seconds to six minutes. Um, so uh, I should have mentioned this at the start, but batch, batch connections support um, shells and beams only. It does not. You can't do this on a solid body. Right. That said, moving on in 2021 onwards, um, even though you have a solid body in the assembly, the batch connections uh, options. You know, you can turn on batch connections and use it for surfaces and beams.